Well, it's week six of LCS with coverage brought to you by Alienware. I'm joined right now by Spica from TSM to talk about how things have been going for TSM. It's been a bit of a rough weekend, I know, 0-2. Uh, and so I guess maybe the first question, Speak, is just how how are you personally holding up? Because obviously this has been a tough split. Yeah, um, I mean, I think I'm doing a lot better. I, th I, I mean, I think definitely when you're 10th place, it's like hard uh, to just stay positive. Um, but uh, for me, I guess that's just part of... You know, uh, being a pro player, like sometimes your careers have ups and downs, right? So I, I mean, it's like my first time, so I'm still trying to uh, get through it, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was going to be my my question. Is this obviously you? A lot of pro players really start on like uh, a team that's at the bottom of the standings, and then they eventually make their way onto like a C9, TSM, or et cetera. Yeah. You unfortunately, or fortunately, fortunately. <laughs> have always had <laughs> success, yeah. and so now it's unfortunate you have to mm -hmm. deal with this. So yeah. I don't know if you. Like if, if you've had to figure out ways to cope with it or if you've figured out ways to like deal with a tough weekend? I mean, yeah, like 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 you said before, like I guess my the start of my career was like pretty successful, um, for like pro player standards. Like, um, you know, I started off started off on like top teams even during like the my first split, summer twenty twenty. Uh, even though we had like a poor start, but like I always knew that, you know, um, We'll bounce back because we had like Birg and Double Lift and they have really strong fundamentals, right? Yeah. And like we always believe that we can always win. Um, so it was definitely uh, like a difficult change for me, I guess. You know, when you're always like in a top team and then suddenly you start losing, um, uh, just like a lot of other issues, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, on the broader end, how's the rest of the team holding up? I did an interview with Shenny last week. He says there's no issues anymore. Everybody's friends. Everything's cool. Yeah. Um, so I don't know how the team on a whole is dealing with it, especially because I know, like, oftentimes it can just get really tough for a team whenever yeah. you all go back into the room afterwards. It's just, like, silent. Um, I, it's hard for me to speak for other players, yeah. um, but I definitely know that um, uh, Huni and Tactical, they're, like, kind of emotional players. Uh, for me, I, I think I deal with it, like, decently well. Like, obviously, I had, like, a bit of a rough phase, um, but I think right now I'm, like, coming into it. Yeah. Um, I, I know they're like really emotional players, and I, I, you know, obviously I said before I can't speak for them, um, but I feel like it definitely, uh, it definitely impacts the team atmosphere a lot. Yeah. I feel like there's like a lot of pressure um, as well, especially. Um, I, I think the biggest thing is just ex expectation versus like what actually happens, right? Yeah. Um, I think that's like a very big thing when, where you're ex you're like way below where you're expected yeah. to perform. Are you? Uh, staying away from the internet or do you go on Twitter and see people tweeting at you? I'm, sh I'm sure it's yeah. a bit of a different vibe than when you were just L plus ratioing everybody last summer. Yeah, I mean, um, it's hard to have fun when you're yeah. losing, that's for sure. Um, but for me, I, I guess I've tried to stay away because I feel like a lot of times um, people just don't understand how the game is played, I guess. Like, I'm not, I'm not saying that I'm playing fucking amazing um, but people don't see a lot of nuances behind the team and like um, stuff like that. So, you know, I take everything with a grain of salt. But um, it, it's still it's still very tough. Um, and you know, hopefully we can have better results. Yeah. Uh, what have you guys been working on behind the scenes to try to like get things to a better place? And do you think you're making progress? Or I'm mean, obviously it's like tough yeah. when you you hit the zero two to f maybe feel like that mm -hmm. the week beforehand was helpful. Um. I mean, I, I feel like we're definitely making progress, but I guess um, that's for every team, right? Like, yeah. every, we're improving, but, like, every team is also improving, and we started off really, really far behind. Um, I would say there's, like, a lot of things happening in the offseason, um, a lot of other things that set us back. Like, we had two roster changes, I believe. Yeah. Um, you know, we swapped out Shengi, and then we also swapped out uh, Kaido. Um, so I feel like in terms of improvement, we are improving, but we're definitely super far behind, um, and I think it's going to be pretty tough. Well, uh, I won't keep you too long, especially because I know it's been uh, a tough weekend, but is there anything you want to say to any of the TSM fans? Because I know they're still cheering you guys on. Um, yeah, I'm kind of speechless, not going to lie. It's, yeah. it, it's been pretty rough. It's been pretty rough, but, um, you know, Koreas have up and downs. Uh, hopefully I can show better performances, and um, hopefully there's still going to be fans. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, uh, Speaker, for the interview. For everyone else, you can check out the rest of my coverage of all things LCS right here on my YouTube channel. You know, sometimes when it's your job to do something and you can't figure out how to do it because you filmed so many outros over the years and now you're just awkwardly at the end of somebody's YouTube video and they're sitting there being like, is this really happening? Is he just saying he doesn't know what outro to do? Uh, well, if you're like that, 
then you might want to consider getting an Alienware computer. Uh, because if I had one in front of me right now, maybe I'd have like a script that I've written on it that would be something I could refer to instead of this weird ad lib thing that I'm doing right now. No, honestly, Alienware's got great stuff. We've been using everything that they create for years uh, for TGI. I can actually officially say that now because it's just been like literal years. There's two years that just now where I wasn't even out here and we were using their stuff to do remote interviews and it was awesome. Uh, they allow us to create wonderful 4K videos like this one and I really appreciate their support. So if you appreciate my videos, understand that we couldn't do it without them. So go check them out. There's a link in the description below.